I will be showing you some treasures from the Scottish Studies collection today. This collection consists of materials related to the history and culture of Scotland. The wonderful thing about the Scottish Studies collection is that it is large and it's reputed to be one of the finest outside of the United Kingdom. And what's wonderful about that is it permits people who have an interest in Scottish history or their own ancestral histories, such as clan histories and genealogy. It permits people who have those interests to access those items here in Canada rather than needing to go abroad. This is a Scottish land charter. It is from 1432. It is part of our Campbell of Monsey collection. This is one of the oldest things in our holdings. The document's written on parchment in Latin, and it also contains a wax seal, which has survived almost 600 years. These are legal documents that are very significant because it traces the, the transfer of land between individuals and families throughout Scotland. This land charter is part of a collection of 14 charters that Archival and Special Collections, along with faculty and students, are currently working to make available online. This is the Blau Atlas of Scotland and Ireland. It was made by Johan Blau, who was a second generation cartographer. It was published in Amsterdam in 1654, and it is significant because it's the first representation of Scotland in an atlas. It has 49 engraved images. They are beautifully hand colored. This is a Jacobite intelligence letter from 1715. The Jacobites were a political movement that supported the Stuart claim to the throne. This letter written by the French ambassador to England was written in 715 and it describes the movements of known Jacobite sympathizers. It's written in French and also in code, which has since then been decoded. It also describes potential for a Jacobite uprising. This book is a chapbook. It is published in 1801 and comes from Glasgow. It is The Crafty Princess and the Golden Bull in Four Parts. This one contains a fairy tale. Chapbooks were known for containing things like poetry and ballads and songs, as well as abridged histories. They were very popular among the literate Scottish population. They were sold by chapmen who traveled between towns to sell them. We have over 600 chapbooks in our Scottish Studies collection, and we've made them all available online through our Scottish Chapbook Project. You can download high-res images and read abstracts about what's in each book. If there is a aspect of Scottish history or culture that you're interested in, whether it's for scholarly research or to research your own family history, you're welcome to book an appointment with us to come view the materials in person or send us an email and we can help get you started.